Recent shutdowns of the Colonial Pipeline and JBS meatpacking plants are only the latest evidence of a continuing trend. Ransomware is responsible for all OT shutdowns due to cyber attacks since at least the beginning of 2020. Today's ransomware groups are really very sophisticated. They're using the tools and techniques that only a few years ago were used exclusively by nation states. There was a day when owners and operators recognized the power of nation state attacks, but they thought to themselves, yeah, but you know, I'm just not that important. Why would a nation state ever target me? Today, the answer is clear, profits. With multi-million dollar ransoms being paid routinely by ransomware victims to criminals who use these nation state tools and techniques, which businesses are today's targets? The answer is everyone with money. With rare exceptions, OT shutdowns are not the result of attackers targeting physical operations. Instead, these shutdowns are either due to crippled IT systems that turned out to be essential to operations, or due to the victim enterprise not being sufficiently confident in the strength of their IT OT protections. Without such confidence, Owners and operators must shut down their pipelines and manufacturing systems to prevent the potential for unacceptable physical consequences. Public disclosures of these shutdowns generally use keywords like preemptive or abundance of caution. Not long ago, the single most common cyber threat to physical operations was accidental shutdowns due to, you know, common credit card stealing malware that's coming in on USB keys. Today, firewall rules, antivirus systems, awareness programs, removable media controls, these have all dramatically reduced the frequency of that kind of incident. Ransomware gangs have upped their game. Most ransomware incidents that have OT consequences target IT networks with remote control attacks. The gangs sometimes use stolen remote access credentials to log into IT networks directly. More commonly, they plant remote control tools into internet-exposed IT networks with email phishing attacks or drive-by downloads. The straightforward way to determine if your site is at risk of this kind of OT shutdown is to carry out a desktop drill. Assemble the IT team, the legal team, the engineering and operations teams. Tell your IT people that ransomware has been discovered on their network. How do they find which machines are effective? Can they figure out which credentials have been stolen? Can they figure out which of those credentials have been used? Can they tell if those credentials might allow the attack to propagate through ITO2 protections? And if so, what happens then? If the result of the drill is an operation shutdown, is that acceptable? Most production sites look at shutdowns due to ransomware as unacceptable. The key to preventing ransomware from moving from IT networks into OT networks is robust network segmentation. First, look hard at your physical operations. What dependencies are there on IT systems? To survive an IT breach, the OT network has to contain all of the systems and all of the data that is needed for the network to run independently, to run while IT is down. Second, Look hard at your ITOT network connections. Corporate firewalls are breached routinely by targeted attacks, and ITOT firewalls are no more effective than corporate firewalls are. Now, there is a role for firewalls, both in IT and in OT networks, but if we want to develop the confidence that we need to keep operations running throughout an IT breach, we're going to need something stronger than a firewall at the ITOT interface secure sites use unidirectional security gateways. Waterfall's unidirectional gateways are simple. Unlike firewalls, the gateway hardware is physically able to send information in only one direction, from protected OT networks out to IT networks. The hardware sends absolutely nothing back in. And unlike firewalls, the gateways do not forward network traffic. Instead, unidirectional gateways make copies of servers. The most common servers copied to IT networks are OT relational databases, historian databases, and OPC servers. 
IT users then access the IT replica system simply, normally, and bidirectionally. You can learn more about the difference between firewalls and unidirectional gateways by clicking the link in the description. A lot of people are surprised to learn that you can use antivirus systems and truly secure remote access with unidirectionally protected OT networks. Waterfall's unidirectional gateways are used routinely for pipelines, power plants, manufacturing facilities, and many other industrial sites all over the world. All the usual business needs have unidirectional solutions. Waterfall's unidirectional gateways do not mitigate the risk of targeted attacks. The gateways eliminate these risks. When there's no way for online attack information to enter an OT network, then there's no risk of online attacks moving through IT into OT networks. The ransomware trend shows every indication of worsening in the years ahead. Profitability is driving steady increases in the sophistication of the tools and the techniques that criminals use. Trying to mitigate these risks with firewalls, with intrusion detection systems, it's a cat and mouse game. To get ahead of ransomware risks in OT networks, don't mitigate cyber risks. Eliminate them with Waterfall's unidirectional security gateways. To learn more about Waterfall's unidirectional protections or to explore how your OT network designs can benefit from eliminating the risks of targeted attacks, please contact Waterfall for a free consultation with the unidirectional solutions architect.